State's Coastal Protection Authority says if the mid Barataria diversion project stops or gets held up, all of the money allocated will not be lost. And as Rob Masson reports, some lawmakers expressed concerns about the project that's largely on hold. With work on a $3 billion mid Barataria Bay diversion project tied up in litigation, state lawmakers worry about coastal protection. These funds are so difficult to come by, and we finally got them. It would be a shame for the money to be spent on attorney's fees, engineers that engineering plans we're not going to use. At a joint legislative committee meeting, lawmakers expressed fears about a coastal protection project, which some say is badly needed and could be useful in light of other diversion projects now up and running. You don't believe when we introduce fresh water that grass products, uh, underwater hydrilla, and those things would start to regrow in these areas, which would then support the redfish population? It would, but it could kill it because with the Mississippi River, you get, get invasive species. The head of the CPRA hopes a compromise agreement will be worked out in 45 days, which could restrict the flow of the river from the mid barataria diversion. It could also ease seafood impacts, which some say are being experienced in other sections where the river has been allowed to flow freely, like Neptune Pass on the East Bank. There's no brown shrimp there. there as far as I know, there's no one shrimping that area or oyster fish in that area. Due to legal challenges, major portions of the mid barataria project are on hold as some move forward. We're moving forward with a lot of plaquemines that, that things that President Hinckley and, and Plaquemines Parish that already we were, we were going to do anyway. One is the land bridge. It's 23 miles along. 27, 2,700 feet wide. You have alternatives of slurry pumping. But some lawmakers worry that's not enough, and funds could be lost for one of the state's largest coastal projects ever. What's the long-term goal here? What is the clear scope and timeline? Can we, because we, you got 50 contractors out there that have contracts for this job that's been told to stop. They're in limbo. Some lawmakers expressed concerns that they're not being apprised of progress in litigation now delaying the project. But CPRA Chairman Gordon Dove says he's keeping Governor Jeff Landry in the loop. Rob Manson, Fox 8 Local First.